Nvidia and AMD have been competing for years exchanging blows when it comes to the spot of best GPU of the year. The AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT is expected to be among the top graphics cards, and the company's flagship RDNA 3 GPU is going to go up against Nvidia's next generation frontrunner, the RTX 4090. It's time to put Nvidia and AMD's flagship products head to head and see how they compare. Let's get right into it. Performance it will be difficult to fairly compare the performance of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 and the Radeon RX 7900 XT until both cards are made available to the public. Extensive testing and comparison to industry standards will provide us with data we require for making an informed decision. However, even before they are officially released, a lot of information regarding the capabilities of the 4090 and 7900 was already published. The RTX 4090 is a graphics card designed specifically for enthusiasts, and it appears to have no practical limitations. The graphics processing unit will be able to plow through most tasks for a few years, including content creation at the highest quality, gaming in 4K Ultra settings, and much more. With a score of 19,000 on the 3D Mark Times by Extreme Benchmark, some of the linked benchmarks indicate that the RTX 4090 could be the most powerful GPU that was ever tested. To put that into perspective, the Ampere-based RTX 3090 clocks in at approximately 10,000. The RTX 4090 represents a significant, massive generational leap because it is almost as twice as fast as its predecessor. Also, it is anticipated that the RTX 4090 will utilize the most recent iteration of Nvidia's DLSS technology and give outstanding performance regarding ray tracing. For the RX 7900 XT, Based on what we know from expected theoretical compute numbers, the performance is going to see about a 2.3x gain over the existing cards. This is a major leap in the industry. With this AMD card, you can get 76 teraflops of computational performance based on theoretical clock speed of 3.0 GHz, and the rumors claim that an even higher boost speeds are possible. In spite of this, it will be a significant improvement for gaming PCs and a 6.2x increase over the speed of the fastest console on the market, which is the Xbox Series X. Although frames per second are not necessarily an accurate reflection of the visuals or gaming performance, they can provide a statistic that can be used later for comparison purposes. An increase of 2 to 2.5 two times over the RX 6900 XT and the 6800 XT would be big for AMD and is absolutely going to be required that they are going to compete with the GeForce RTX 40 series from Nvidia. On these graphics cards, gamers should anticipate very fluid 4K gaming. Given the Fidelity FX suite offers support for next generation FSR, SAS, and SAM, we have a very playable 60 FPS at 8K resolution in the near future. Power Draw There have been a lot of speculations in the lead up to the launch of Nvidia's newest flagship regarding the power needs it will require, and it's easy to see why. This card is a power hungry beast. The NVIDIA's Founder Edition model's base thermal design power is 450 watts, the same as the RTX 3090 Ti from the previous generation. Of course, NVIDIA's RTX 4090 will also be available in a wide variety of unique flavors that NVIDIA board partners have developed. It has been speculated that these GPUs would reach a higher TDP, which could range anywhere from 550 to 600 total watts. It is important to note that the RTX 4090 is quite large, so if you want to use it, you will need a case with a lot of spare space. While RTX 4090 will be equipped with a thermal dissipation design that requires 4 slots and over the top engineering options to get most out of the AD102 GPU, AMD has no intention of following the footsteps of its competitor. It is speculated that the RX 7900 XT models that take advantage of air cooling will require less than 350 watts of total power usage. However, additional sources have verified the TDP will be higher than the mark of 300 watts for all of the AIB variants including the ones with the lowest price. Some sources reveal that the RX 7900 XT would have several flagship AIB variations that came with high power requirements. These variants will be available in the future. The RDNA 3 process node, which is based on 5 nanometer technology, is the primary factor that allows these achievements to be realized. However, to attain optimal performance outside of its Navi 31 die, AMD plans to increase the amount of power required for its mid-cycle upgrade of the lineup. It is anticipated that Team Red will also release an RX 7950 XT, much like they did the RX 6950 XT. 
the clock speeds of this GPU will be significantly increased and it will consume a greater amount of power. AMD stands to gain in a number of different potential ways if it makes a decision to deliver offerings that are power efficient and modest in scope. The market is currently facing a massive recession following the pandemic. Adding to this, cards with a lower power draw requirements are more likely to run into issues and having to cover the warranty will add costs for both the manufacturer and the end user. While Nvidia emphasizes on providing faster performance, AMD is working to build graphics cards that are less cumbersome and consume less power. According to Moore's Law is Dead, AMD is turning Nvidia's tactics against them to make them look like the company that creates hot and noisy cards to discredit Nvidia's reputation as a leader in the graphics card market. Pricing and Availability Nvidia has historically been more expensive than AMD, so it's not a surprise to see that the GeForce RTX 4090 will arrive at a fairly high price. However, it is a surprise to see that the 4080 will arrive at a similar price. Nvidia has set the price of its own Founders Edition at $1600, and we have no choice but to assume that the other versions will be priced higher as well. Considering that they are frequently increased in performance as well, beginning on October 12th, 2022, consumers will be able to purchase this GPU. Concerning AMD's flagship product, we do not know which GPU will be the first to hit the market, but AMD is expected to reveal its Navi 33 and Navi 31 models initially. The introduction of the cards is anticipated to take place either towards the end of October or the middle of November, which places it within the fourth quarter of 2022. This will be a timeline that is comparable to the launch of the AMD Ryzen 7000 Zen 4 desktop CPUs, which is also scheduled to release in the fall of 2022. Additionally, Nvidia is aiming for the launch in the fourth quarter of 2022, and that's not all. Even Intel is targeting the launch in the fourth quarter of 2022. So we have three massive companies launching all of their products within the same month, which is absolutely insane. Therefore, we are looking at a total of four major desktop PC launches later this fall, which indicates that the fourth quarter is going to be good and a very competitive one this time around. However, consumers are in for a treat when they will have a wide variety of technologies to select from in order to construct their next generation gaming PCs. As for the cost, we have seen AMD go beyond the 1000 US mark for its current generation top GPU, the RX 6950 XT. So it could be an indication of what's to come in terms of pricing. The most expensive model that AMD offers can be purchased for approximately $1,000, but the company also offers models ranging from $600 to $800. The Navi 31 is presently only anticipated to have a single graphics card. However, if the manufacturer plans to produce a duo or trio of graphics cards, as they did with their prior flagship processors, then we may also anticipate cards that could cost around $700. There you have it. Nvidia's RTX 4090 versus the Ryzen 7900 XT. Both of these GPUs are going to be absolute monsters when they come out and will compete for the top GPU for the next year to come. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please let us know in a comment down below. If you didn't enjoy today's video, please leave a dislike and let us know what we can do better. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like GPU content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you boys in the next one.